What's up? Gary to yourself slot dev. No, it's been a minute, but today I want to talk about my resume and what it looked like when I was applying for jobs. Now the information on here is a little outdated, like my address. I don't live there anymore, so don't send me anything. The old guy I used to live with will get it, and that'll be kind of weird. But yeah, just want to talk a little bit about it um, in case you needed any help with your resume. So first thing, what is that? Huh. I need to get some better PDF viewer because I'm in like Microsoft Edge and I just hate Microsoft's browsers basically because of Internet Explorer. It's really hard to develop on there. Anyway, so yeah, got your basic name. Um, I can't tell if this is highlighting or not because I have Flux on my computer. Oh, it was highlighting. Cool. So let's take all that stuff off. All right. Yeah, I have Flux. It basically draws down the blue light. But anyway, first off, got your name nice and big up here. Got email address, number, uh, where you live, email address, wait, my website, and then my GitHub. I um, want to have all your contact information like, nice and readily available. Because if they want to hire you or give you a call, you got to be able to find it pretty easy. Um, up next, had my experience, or like the skills I had experience with. So I had gone through, um, like a year before this, I had worked with Python. So I had Python on there. I did a little bit of the Team Treehouse Python tech degree. Uh, but I got stuck on testing, and after like two months, I was like, all right, I'm going to try HTML and CSS and see how this goes. And then I switched. So, yeah, I got HTML, um, Gulp, JavaScript, Ajax, Express, CSS, and SAS, Git and GitHub, and Node. Um, those are all skills that I worked on in Team Treehouse's front end developer and JavaScript tech degree. Uh, and then I got <clears throat> my projects here, too. And we got... Again, we got we got the links working here. So if you, you have to take control, all right. Maybe the links don't work here, but why don't the links work? That's weird, huh? Well, if you have a good PDF viewer, I assume it'll be able to open these. Um, or actually, I think most of the time I apply with a Microsoft Word. Uh, no, I'd, I'd send a PDF most of the time just in case they don't have Microsoft Word. Um, you still want to be able to, they, I still wanted them to be able to open it. But yeah, I'd have the links to our project so you can click on it, pull up the project, see what it looks like. And yeah, just have a basic little description of what the project is. Uh, random quote generator, displays a new random quote every 30 seconds. And then the languages I used in that project, so HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, and I tried to put projects that I used all these skills on. So like the Node.js and Express site, um, I used Node, Express, and like pug templating to build a little portfolio site. Um, if you asked me to do that now, I could not. I'd have to relearn Node and Express and pug. Actually, I'd just have to rele relearn Express and pug. Node's like pretty easy. Um, and then Gulp, it's just the project I gulped. Um, for you to, if you don't know, Gulp's like a little basically like a workflow tool. Uh, you can basically write a script to compress and minify all your CSS and JavaScript, um, optimize your images, and basically just do a lot of stuff that helps go from all your files to a deployable site. Pretty easy. Um, then we got the interactive video player, um, employee directory. That one I used an API, I, I interacted with this random user, user generator API, pulled in like 50 users, and built like an employee directory based off the users it sent me. And then, of course, got to have the link to your portfolio again. And that's where they can see the rest of the projects. Because honestly, if you don't have any, if you're not like five, ten years into your web developer career, probably want to try to keep it as like one page. Um, if a hiring manager is looking at like 50 applications a, an hour or something like that, I don't know how many applications they'd be looking at. But you want to keep it nice and concise form. And I didn't have any work-related experience, so I don't have a work-related section on here. Otherwise, that'd probably be in place in my projects. Like if I had to rewrite my resume now, I'd probably have working at TriDigital here, and I'd basically just talk about what, <clears throat> what I've been doing at TriDigital and the skills I use here and what I've been learning instead of my projects. And then last, down here, you got your education certifications because if you're trying to become a web developer, your education doesn't matter as much as the projects you've done. Because you can say you've gone to MIT and you are a master web developer, but if you don't have any projects built where I can see, all right, cool, he built this 
little one page website. The CSS isn't too good, but hey, he's he's getting there. Um, if you don't have a pro, if you don't have a portfolio showcasing your skills, I'm not gonna believe that you can do this. So one of your projects up there, um, I think that's something Josh Fluke said when I was watching one of his resume videos. Um, but yeah, got the education last down here. Uh, Louisiana Tech University, Bachelor of Science Marketing. That one's not really relevant. I do work at a marketing agency though, so eh, kind of. And then we got the Team Treehouse. Um, I did the front end developer tech degree and the full stack JavaScript developer tech degree. Um, I actually never finished either one of those and that's one of my goals this year to finish both of those. And then I also want to do the Python one because I kind of want to get into Python, dude. That's like the first language I tried. It is super easy to learn because you can do like a loop is for X in 10 and then that loops through 10 times. So don't need any special syntax. You just type the word for X I N and then the number 10. What are my cats in the background of this video again? Like he wasn't the last one. And then we got free code camp. Um, if you need a good free place to learn stuff, that's, that's a good one there. Uh, they've got tons of great stuff if you're disciplined if you work through that whole free code camp curriculum you will be ready to get a job as a web developer for sure but that is did i hit record i did good all right i was getting worried there half the time i record a video and then i realized i didn't hit record and i'll have to redo it it's super annoying but yeah if you guys have any um if you want me to like review your resume or anything like that or portfolio feel free to email those to me that is still my my email address so feel free to email me that um, if you don't say anything, I'm going to assume it's okay if I just put your contact information on there. Um, if you don't want it on there, just say something in the email and I'll black it out or you can black it out. That'd be cool too. And I'll give you a little bit of feedback based on what I've learned and you can review your portfolio if you want to. But yeah, uh, hit me up with any other questions you guys have and I will see you next time. Peace.